Right, hello, um, Happy New Year to you 2018. I'm John Etheridge, uh, I'm known as the cycling artist, because I do a lot of cycling, not this time of year, too cold. Um, now, I do a lot of painting as most of you know, um, but I also do a lot of uh, furniture restoration and uh, I've come up with this beautiful chair here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a Lloyd Loom or not. I know the other one I got at the same place was a Lloyd Loom, but this is very reminiscent of a Lloyd Loom. Now, it's made of, um, kind of feels like plastic, but kind of feels like wicker at the same time. I'm not really sure what it is, but what an absolutely beautiful chair. The top comes off. It's a lovely little compartment under there. And the the uh, product I use to um, change the colours of the chairs is uh, Sarah Jane uh, chalk paint. This is Sarah Jane chalk paint. Um, this is by the old name of Everlast. Oh, sorry, Everlong, not Everlast. Keep saying Everlast. Sorry about that. It's Everlong. Anyway, the. the this is now called Sarah Jane, and on all the new tins you will see this label. Okay, so that's Sarah Jane chalk paints. Now, they are wonderful, and with all uh, Sarah Jane chalk paints, you don't actually need to do any preparation. However, there are times when it's wise to do some preparation. And this is going to be one of them times. So I thought this was a good time to show how to get the best out of your Sarah Jane chalk paint. And not go down a road where you're thinking, well this isn't working, that isn't working, this stain is showing here, this stain is showing there. It's not the chalk paint, it's the actual furniture itself. Sarah Jane chalk paint does exactly what it says on the tin. You don't need to pre 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 prepare. Um, and you can just put it straight on. But there are times, and like I say, it's not because of the chalk paint, it's because of the furniture you're putting on. Now this is a prime example. If this was completely clean, and I'll show you closer up in a minute what I mean by that. If this was completely clean, I'd just get straight on with the chalk painting. No problem whatsoever. Uh, the Sarah Jane chalk paint, like I say, that'll go straight on. I probably need two or possibly three thin coats and uh, th this would come up beautiful but in this particular case I'm just going to take the top off to make it a bit easier to, to uh, move um, the owner of this was obviously a smoker uh, I hope you can see that on the back of there um, this is orange stain now I did have someone say to me use some sugar soap on it well, I mixed up some sugar soap, done a little bit of rubbing on it, and it did nothing. So, I'm not going to use that. Not only did it do nothing, it did say on, on the tin, don't use it on furniture. So, I'm not going to. I'm going to do exactly what I'm told. Now, there is a product out there called uh, Zinza Paint, or Zinza Primer. This is it. And uh, I've had that recommended to me by people that use Sarah Jane chalk paint for exactly this reason. And um, this Zinza, there are different types of it. The one I've got here in a red tin, I believe there's a blue tin as well, is called Interior and Spot Exterior Primer Sealer Stain Killer. Well, that's all you need. Now, you need an old brush to put this on. Um, I'm fortunate that I actually have one of the brushes I bought from Sarah Jane um, that is uh, spare to me as well. Well, actually, I bought it from Claire's Craft House. She uses Sarah Jane chalk paint, um, and she's phenomenal. Now, I'm lucky enough now that um, I've got a few brushes left over now that Sarah Jane themselves sent to me and asked me if I'd use and, and review, uh, which I am doing. Um, but I'm fortunate enough that I've got this old one and I'm going to use that to put this primer on. Now the thing with this primer is it's very quick to use. should be dry in about 15 minutes. I'm just taking the top off. And if you look inside, um, this has done several pieces of furniture. You'll have this oil on the top. Now it does need stirring. You give it a stir. 
and it comes up beautifully white. So I'll just give it a quick stir and I'll show you how to apply it. And there is a bit of a, I don't know whether you'd call it a knack, but you just have to be careful. What you will need for definite is a cover on your floor for definite. Now I've got my uh, chair up on my work table and I've got a cover on the work table so that's not so bad. But if you look it comes up beautifully white and the th it's the consistency I suppose of a thick milkshake. Maybe not quite a thick milkshake even. And the thing is this stuff dries so quick. Now I'm going to just show you how I apply it. Um, I don't uh, become too precious about it or particular about it. I just slap it straight on. Um, I'm not looking to, for an even overall coverage. Um, just I just want the stains covered. Now I would have perhaps took all these bits and pieces off. I probably will take these bits, bits and pieces off in, 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 in time. The braiding I think I'm going to leave because I think that would cause more trouble than it's worth. But that's actually tacked on with some nice tacks. But the braiding and or all, all the gold pieces, I'm actually going to turn it into pink. And this I'm probably going to do in an ivory white. Now, the lighter colours of Sierra Jane's chalk paints, um, they do not cover. To, it's fair for me to say that they do not cover as well as the coloured paints. And the reason for that is it's because they're light. If you have a dark piece of furniture, it's going to show through. Especially if you're not putting primers on and all this. But that's the art of Sierra Jane chalk paint. You can just put it straight on. You haven't got to worry about all this priming. Only in these situations. So. This. As you can see. Is very runny. Right. So don't be too particular. Oh. I even got a splashed end look. You don't want too much on your brush really. And you just brush it on. Get some coverage. What we're doing is just sealing in all that horrible staining that's arrived over the course of time. Now, if this was a straightforward wooden chair, I would just literally be brushing backwards and forwards like that and not worrying too much. But with this being um, a woven chair, I'm having to get into a few of the nooks and crannies just to be safe. Now, I'm not over after a, a very thick coverage, but uh, just to a coverage that's all you can see I'm not being too precious about it right now that will cover your stain and the other great thing is it will get rid of the smell now we all know what it smells like when somebody's been smoking around furniture or around clothing or anything like that you know I'm not saying there's anything wrong with smoking I mean I used to many years ago um, but, you know, it does have its problems, as we all know. So, this will cover the smell, it will cover the stain, and then with that, this, I mean, you can look, I mean, I haven't been bothering, and look how quickly I'm covering all that up. This will take me, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes to cover with this primer. And then it's another 10 minutes to cover with, a ch with the Sierra Jane chalk paint. And maybe in the, after a little bit of drying time, another 10 minutes to cover it again. And if I have to go to a third coat, which I might not have to because I've primed this, another 10 minutes. So I reckon if I was to work at this all afternoon without other things getting put in my way, which they normally do, um, I reckon I could have this more or less, the, well, the main structure of this definitely painted within the afternoon. That's magic. I mean... You know, so the combination of this and your Sierra Jane chalk paint, which is in some of these tins sometimes, but once they've got rid of them stock, will come in the new tin, um, is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, how can you restore a piece of furniture in an afternoon like this? Sierra Jane chalk paints, so glad I found you. Um, You've been a revelation in my life. Um, the, the hardest part for me will is producing my painting, um, which I actually have over here. I'll just give you a quick preview of what I'm going to do. By the way, look. 
dry. Dry already. Um, let me just get my painting. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> right, that's the painting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that produced onto fabric. Um, and like the other chairs that I've done, I um, don't have one to hand right now, but like the other chairs that I've done, I'm going to then cover the fabric seat up. Recover that. Chalk paint all this with Sarah Jane chalk paint. So that's my seat. I'm going to have that picture of the little girl on there. She's got a pink dress on. I'm intending to do all the exterior braiding and the, the legs in a pink. Probably the chair main bulk I'm going to do in an ivory white because I think that'll suit any house. I had thought about the opposite way but I think that white and these pink would be a better way to go because then there won't be too much pink. Um, uh, the pink I'm thinking about using is this Sarah Jane picture here. Look at that lovely colour. I don't know if you can see that really too much on the camera, but that's absolutely phenomenal colour that is. That's going to be so great to go with that picture. Yeah, and the funny thing is, probably that tiny little pot there, which is, um, I think they call it a sample pot, I'm, I'm not sure. That little sample pot it's probably more than enough to do this chair. That's incredible. Sarah Jane chalk paint. You can't be without it, honestly. Um, the other good thing is, if you want to, you can buff this up. You can get a shine on it, a little bit of protection from the paint alone. You don't have to go buy in special varnishes, special waxes. I do. Because I consider if people are going to sit on this, it's got to be hard wearing. Um, that's not to say it isn't hard wearing, but the additional added protection for me, in addition to this, which Sarah Jane chalk paints also sell, they sell uh, the varnishes. Um, I've got a polyvine wood varnish here, um, which actually does furniture as well. They actually do a different one to that. Um, not sure what the name of that is, but it's it's more suited to the furniture than what this would be. However, I'm using this because it's a little bit shinier and I like it. And they've also got these waxes. Sorry, I'm not pr promoting Sarah Jane, but I'm just telling you how good Sarah Jane products are and why I use them and what I use. They've got this enhancing clear wax. Right, so you can put that clear wax on if you don't want to use a varnish. And they've also got this decorative dark wax. Now I'm told that this is the new distressing. Um, I don't do a lot of distressing, but I am going to do some. Now, in particular, now I've got this. But what you have to do, I believe, is to put the enhanced and clear wax on first, then add this on, wipe it off, and it leaves you with this lovely... Um, brown staining as if you'd sort of use sandpaper to, to rub it down and whatever. I'm not going to use that on this uh, particular piece but um, I will certainly end up using the Enhance and Clear Wax or the varnish, probably the varnish in this case. But um, I'm going to have to do this video in two parts because I'm going to get on with now priming. When I come back, which I don't know when that will be, it could be another week, could be another two weeks. It all depends how quickly I get on with ordering the fabric and with other work I have to do, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to uh, then start, after I've primed it, you'll, when you come back you'll see this will be all white. I'm going to then start with the chalk paint. I'm going to show you how easy and quickly that can be applied. Um, and then there may be a third additional video because it's too long to do all at once. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to recover this. So in conjunction with Sarah Jane chalk paint and my fabric printers and me, we're going to end up with a chair that's going to be top dollar. And I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway. I'll catch you next video and uh, like I said, have a great 2018. I'm planning to make it a good one. Bye for now.